so today's topic is bladder incontinence pharmacology of bladder incontinence before that let's see what are the receptors present on the bladder we have beta 2 on bladder beta 3 on bladder m3 on bladder and around the sphincter we have alpha 1 beta 2 and beta 3 try to relax the bladder m3 tries to contract the bladder this is the thing you should keep in mind till then and alpha 1 tries to constrict the sphincter okay now what exactly is bladder incontinence bladder incontinence is urination without warning bell there is no warning bell and the person the patient urinates spontaneously this can be due to any defect in the bladder or the sphincter itself uh, according to the root cause why there is incontinence, the bladder incontinence can be three types urge incontinence, overflow incontinence and stress incontinence. Let's see each of them one by one. Okay, this is it. Now coming to urge incontinence. Why it is named so? Urge incontinence. The patient has urge to urinate throughout the day. He His urina, urination, the frequency of his urination is high. This is due to increased contraction of the bladder muscles. Even before the bladder is completely filled due to the contraction, the person urinates the, uh, the small amount of urine more times a day. That's why this is also called overactive bladder. So to treat this overactive bladder, what do you do? You decrease the contraction, that is M3 and you support the relaxation that is beta 2 agonists and beta 3 and agonists what do you do with alpha 1 what do you do with sphincter no there is no defect in sphincter do not treat at the level of sphincter so the m3 antagonist the choice of drugs the choices of drug oxybutynin botulinum toxin and there is a tricyclic antidepressant which has muscarnic antagonist activity that is imipramine The choice of drug in class of beta 2 agonists is retodrine and in case of beta 3 agonists the drug is mirabegaron. Apart from this direct smooth muscle relaxants can be given like flavoxate, like drotivirine. So now we have a case where we have hypoactive bladder means the bladder is not contracting as much as it should. Actually the cause is not with the bladder, the cause lies at the level of sphincter. Due to uh, reasons like BPH and stricture at the sphincter level, the sphincter doesn't relax at all and the urine keeps filling in the bladder. And the bladder is unable to overcome the pressure, The obstruction at the level of sphincter and its contraction is insufficient to overcome this obstruction that's the obstruction that's where the bladder is called hypoactive bladder so this patient will have urination once or twice a day but that urination is in large amount overflow so what do you do do you treat this at the sphincter level because the problem is at sphincter level no you cannot treat the sphincter because the problem is around the sphincter and even though you try to relax the sphincter there is no use because the obstruction is always there that is the bph so here also do not try to treat at the sphincter level. Directly increase the strength of bladder by giving bitanicol which is M3 agonist. So bitanicol is choice of drug in overflow incontinence whereas retodrin or mirabegaron is choice of drug in urge incontinence. That is how the treatment goes. Now quickly coming to stress incontinence here the problem is at the sphincter level. So stress incontinence. Here, the bladder urinates with little stress. Even if you apply little stress, like if you sit down, if you press your pubic area, the urine comes out. This is due to loose sphincter. That's why the name is stress incontinence. Even little stress can make the urine incontinent due to the sphincter. So, simple. The problem is at the sphincter level. Treat the sphincter. Increase the tone of sphincter. Give alpha 1 agonist. The choice of drug is Pseudoephedrine, ephedrine, phenylephrine. 
there is also another treatment modality with imipramine which is also used in urgent continence here imipramine is antidepressant which increases noradrenaline which further acts on alpha 1 and increases its tone and this stress incontinence is more common in females than males so another treatment modality is estrogen treatment which is also treatment for stress, in, stress incontinence so to sum up in urgent continence patient urinates uh, more times a day with little urine in overflow incontinence patient urinates less times a day but too much of urine per urination and in stress, stress incontinence the patient urinates on application of stress this is it i'm done with it my name is pranav i'm medico in india all i want you to do is share this video and subscribe the channel corazon thank you